Look at it. Look at that image, y'all. Look at that picture of number 45, soon to be number 47. The moment that that photograph was taken, the moment that this image went into existence, y'all, the real estate market completely changed. I'm talking totally flipped on its head, and we're going to talk about it. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the show, right? And today we're talking about the real estate market and how it totally changed right there. In my career in real estate, right? Done a lot of stuff in real estate. Thousands of tenants, over $200 million of sales. I've been at this game a very long time. I've done it all. Fix and flips, rentals, Section 8, Airbnb, holes. You name it, I've done it, right? I have never seen a moment completely change the industry like I saw right here with this moment, right? Obviously, you know, we're all on the same page, right? Everybody's aware of where we're at in the country right now. Biden, Trump, election, they try to assassinate Trump, and then Trump puts his fist up, this happens. Shortly thereafter, Biden drops out of the race, right? We're all caught up. If for some reason you didn't know that, you might be too fucking retarded to watch the end of the video. So, I don't know, go drool somewhere else. But the rest of us, right, who don't wear a fucking helmet to work, we know that that's where we're at, okay? And I'm here to tell y'all that that moment, that changed the real estate market. Now, sometimes, get a little political, we talk about stuff, right? I've been rocking this mega hat since 2016, and, and we get a bunch of people that they're like, I don't get why you would talk about politics. What's that got to do with real estate? Fucking everything, Karen. Are you retarded? Everything, okay? A lot of people think that like politics and business sh should not be discussed. And maybe for some businesses that's true. Definitely not the real estate business, okay? Uh, they are so completely intertwined. And many of you are aware that uh, those in the real estate game were crushing it uh, in terms of profitability, affordability, all that. It was great. If you were in real estate or involved in real estate, doing anything in real estate during the Trump presidency, dude, money coming in hand over fist, right? And then fast forward to the Biden presidency, right? This is a very cool, unique time in this country, right? Because we've seen four years of Trump and then we've seen four years of Biden, right? And now we get to decide. Well, we were deciding it's going to be somebody different than Biden. But it's looking like Kamala, but more or less same situation, right? But we were able to compare Trump and Biden, right? And real estate, it's not, not smoking hot anymore. It's not cool. It's not sexy, right? Housing is tough, right? The interest rates, they friggin' doubled overnight, during the Biden administration, right? So people in the real estate game, real estate professionals, et cetera, et cetera, you know, it's not like the gravy train that it was, right? So for investors, you know, we were killing it during the Trump administration. Now, not so much, right? And you know, you know the real estate market's bad when you start seeing all the realtors and stuff on Facebook, like posting things about how hot the market is. You don't have to post shit about how hot the market is when the market's actually fucking hot. They just say that shit when that motherfucker's colder than ice, man. <laughs> that shit's colder than that motherfucker that was on top of the building after he tried shooting Trump, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, when... They came out, and this photo happened, right, when, when that kid tried to shoot Trump, right? And we're not going to go down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories or anything like that. This is, this is not a conspiracy-based show. We don't get into conspiracies. I'm not Alex Jones. I don't think they're turning the frogs gay, okay? We're not getting into that. Yes, do I think Stevie fucking Wonder would have saw that motherfucker on top of the roof? Absolutely. Yes, do I think it's really fucking weird that they knew the shooter was on the roof before they let Trump go out and give the speech, and then they still let him go out and give the speech? Yeah, I think that's fucking weird, but this ain't a conspiracy theory show. We're not going to talk about conspiracy theories. There's no evidence of any weird collusion. I know what you're thinking. I don't necessarily believe that Hillary had anything to do it. We're not talking about that stuff, guys. That's not what we do here. We're talking about how this moment affected the real estate market. And it totally did. Because when I watched this footage, 
I, like pretty much everybody else with a brain, I saw him get up and he's got the blood coming down and he's like, fight, 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 right? And you get this iconic, like iconic ass image here. Like, dude, I'm watching it, I get goosebumps and I'm like, holy shit, that was the most badass machismo human thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And then if you look, pretty much everybody else felt the exact same way, right? You see all kinds of other celebrities, even people that are like pretty anti-Trump, like Zuckerberg even came out and was like, dude, that was fucking awesome, right? So the moment that this image happened, I was like, dude, that's it. It's, the election is over. You cannot beat this in a presidential election, guys. Like, it's pretty clear. Whether you like Trump or you don't like Trump or you like Biden, you don't like Biden, you like Kamala, you believe in those conspiracy theories, you don't believe in the conspiracy theories, not important. We could all pretty much agree that when, like, this iconic moment happened, when, like, when they tried, like, that kid tried, uh, to my understanding, right, he didn't have accomplices, that's what they're saying for now, right? Uh, but when that kid tried to kill him and he failed and then this guy gets up and does that, like, that's just a moment that's like, you know, it's going to rally the troops and, like, this dude's, it's a foregone conclusion, right, that this guy's going to win the election. They're so confident that this dude is going to win the election that they didn't even bother to balance the ticket and get Tim Scott in there. Instead, they picked J.D. Vance, right? The dude doesn't need any more white evangel evangelical votes okay it's not like there's like white evangelicals that are not voting for trump right so you don't need jd unless you already know you got the election in the bag and then you're trying to groom jd uh, for 2028 so he didn't even pick tim scott because he knows that once this happened he's winning the damn thing right it's pretty obvious everybody knows that right that's why they're doing probably a hail mary right now and they're swapping biden out even though they've been trying to uh well allegedly people are saying they've been trying to pretend that you know, they've been hiding Biden's uh, mental decline, allegedly. I don't know. You don't get into conspiracy theories here, right? But that's where we're at. So the real question and what we're really here to talk about is how does that affect the real estate market? How do I make such a claim that this moment, that this assassination, failed assassination attempt changed the real estate market? It goes back to what I was touching on earlier. When people say things like, oh, real estate and politics is not intertwined, doesn't have anything to do with each other. You're an idiot if you think that. They are so entwined, intertwined. And they've never been more intertwined than in this election cycle. Like, let's look at what we have here, right? And again, Biden, yeah, as of like literally, I don't know, 16 hours ago, uh, he's out of the race. But like, if Kamala or a different Democrat, they're going to, be under the same types of policies, guys. But more or less, this is what we're dealing with. We've never had a moment in American history uh, where the real estate market was so like tied to the election than here, right? On one hand, we've got literally the most famous real estate investor, real estate developer, billionaire real estate celebrity running, Donald Trump, right? And he's running on like, yo, we got to get interest rates down. Fuck this shit. Housing sucks. Let's get those rates down, right, on one hand. And then on the other hand, you have a progressive president who is literally running on, we need national rent control. We need to stop landlords from milking the American public and profiting off of them. Folks, this is the commander-in-chief, the leader of the free world. That's the job opening here. One side of the coin, literally famous real estate investor who wants to lower interest rates. Other side of the coin, anti-landlord, rent control, socialism, right? That's what's at stake here, okay? Which direction the housing market goes is so dependent upon who wins in November. And when this pops up, guys, I saw it and I was like, damn, it's it. The election's over. Housing is going to be the fucking gravy train that it usually is because the most famous real estate investor is now unfucking beatable in 
the 2024 election because ain't no motherfucker, especially some fucking geriatric motherfucker. I'm sorry, he's not, he's out of the race. And also, we don't know these. Ger- Those are conspiracy theories, right? Some chick who got into the political spectrum by blowing her boss, allegedly. I'm not saying that. Other people said that, right? That situation, or maybe freaking Gavin, who looks like fucking Patrick Bateman from uh, Psycho. American Psycho there, right? Anybody? That, those candidates, right? They're not beating this, this right here. This right here gets people off the sidelines. So if you're a real estate investor, you should be happy for this. Now, you know, you might be a real estate investor and you might think that some of the stuff that Trump does or says is, you know, inappropriate, untoward, as you will, right? I mean, yeah, I get it, right? Most people, they don't walk around talking about grabbing fucking pussies, okay? All right, that's, you know, it's not polite dinner conversation, all right? But I tell you what, y'all, the American public, they ain't voting for this motherfucker to sit at their dinner table and hang out with them, right? The government is not here to, like, you know, get involved in our daily lives. In reality, what we should want is the government to be as far away from us as humanly possible and involved with our lives as little as possible, right? And that's what this dude does, and he is going to deregulate a lot of stuff, and a lot of things are going to be put into play, and I believe the housing market is going to react. The markets are going to, I mean, the stock market already went up. Like, moral of the story is, guys, If this dude wins, real estate, it's going to pick right back up to be in a fucking gravy train, y'all. Love them, hate them. It don't really matter. If you're in the real estate business, right, this picture is really good for business. And if you're not in the real estate business, but you're thinking about getting in the real estate business, I'll let you know that it's going to be a real good fucking time to get in when this dude is the president. And you probably ain't going to have to worry about someone else being the president for the next four years. Because like I said, right there, that moment, that's unbeatable. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.